Hey ladies, it's Julia and I have a new wig to show you today. The company is Sepia or West Bay and the wig is called HS Boston. Here is the packaging she came with. Very basic hairnet, nothing too fancy. Here is the tag. Her style, HS Boston. The color, FS8 27 613. Now the reason I like sepia wigs is that they have a skin top. The skin top is not very big. Sometimes it's in the middle. Sometimes it's off to the side. And on top of the skin top is a machined part, which you can see here. It's a very short part, and I'll try to show you underneath here is the actual skin top. You might get a glimpse of it. It's like a tan or a dark ivory color, um, and you could pluck the parting to, of course, make the part more significant and visible. Uh, but be careful because you don't want any of the wefts or tracks to show. But here is Boston. She's very long. She's hate friendly, which is a good thing because I think she would look fabulous if she was straightened a little bit. Unless you love really long curly waves. The hair is synthetic and it is extremely soft not shiny, not at all shiny. And this mix of 82730 is nicely done. You don't have the thick ribbons of highlighting, you know, so that it looks ridiculous. You don't want to look like a skunk when you have highlights. You want them nicely blended. This is. It's fantastic. Inside the classic wig cap, are combs, which are not typical of sepia wigs. I'm so happy to see that they've added there the combs. So here's a comb in the front, comb in the back. Again, I'm thrilled. <laughs> the adjustable straps, because I really like their wigs, and you know, in the past I'd have to buy them and sew my own combs in, but anyway, that's my problem. Let's try her on. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord girls, let me tell you, this wig cap is small. If you have an average head or a smaller than average head, you'll love it. If you have a larger than average head, this is not the wig for you. I mean, this wig cap is small. My head is average. I think it measures 21 or 22 inches in diameter. And buddy, let me tell you, this sucker is on here. Like, you do not need a wig cap. I mean, whoo lord, it's, it's on there. Oh my gosh. I mean, girls, look at it. Look at the goodness. Let's, let's do a side view. Let's do a side view. Now. Okay, let's look at the back. I'm 5'7", and this wig comes down, well, it comes down to my waist. And I bet if I straightened it, it would be all the way to my butt. I mean, the volume. Look at the volume. Look at the density of this wig. Let's take a look at the hairline, which for a classic cap is really good. This is my natural hair peeking out in the front. As you can see the hairline, it looks really good. You can't see any wefts. Now sepia bangs on their wigs tend to be a little crazy uh, because they make them thicker and they put like a little permatease right here just so that none of the wefts right before the skin top and the parting show, 
if you don't like the way this looks you could always cut out like a little triangle here and let your own natural hair come out as the bangs. I have other videos about sepia wigs in which I've done that and it looks very realistic and natural. So you have to play with any wig, of course. Just run in the brush through her a little bit. No, there's no shedding. Uh, I think I have one strand of hair in my hand. That is fantastic. Very nice. And you know, when you have a wig like this that is so thick, you have so many options with it. You could pull it up, put it in a ponytail. I mean, how cute is that? This looks like Ariana Grande. Side to side. No, that's on. <laughs> Boston usually retails for around $36. Um, you can find her anywhere between $35 on Amazon or eBay, all the way up to $45 on the more pricey uh, wig internet sites. I'm happy with her. I'm just shocked at the amount of hair. I'm absolutely shocked. It's very heavy. And I gotta tell you, even though I'm not wearing a wig cap, I'm, I'm getting a little, whew, a little warm. Of course, this is Georgia. It's freaking hot here right now in August. <laughs> but she is a little warm. So my advice would be just use the combs. Don't wear a wig cap. You probably don't even need that velvet wig grip. You just have the combs in and go to town. All right, girls, well, let me know what you think about this wig. If you have this wig and you love it and you've modified it, or maybe you have tips about wearing it, please share in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.